It's Dr. Durbin here again with Petey and my trusty helper Rachel. This time we're going to teach you how to teach your dog um, to let you brush his teeth. So as we all know, teeth brushing is an important part of preventative care. And even if you can brush your dog's teeth just a couple of days a week, it can make a difference in his dental health. So the m number one um, first thing is we need to get our supplies together. So, so um, we usually recommend a CET dental toothpaste, and but whatever you get, you need to make sure that it's a toothpaste intended for dogs. People toothpaste is too high in sodium and too high in fluoride for dogs because they eat a lot of it. So um, the reason I like the CET toothpaste is that it's enzymatic, so it's going to help break down the tartar that's in the dog's mouth, and then it also is flavored, so it tastes good. A lot of dogs really like it. Petey has had his teeth brushed a couple of times, but he's still learning, um, despite his huge size. He is a puppy. So step one, I put a little bit of the flavored toothpaste on the toothbrush and I'll let the dog see it. Petey really likes the toothpaste and the toothbrush. So he kind of sniffs it and then he starts licking it. Oh, it tastes good, right buddy? And then I'll brush just the little smile teeth in front. Good boy. And then I'll let him have a little bit more. Good boy. Good boy. And you want to make it a really positive experience the first couple of times you do this with your dog or with your puppy. So have lots of treats. Um, let them eat some of the toothpaste. That's fine. And then do it again. We'll come over here. <laughs> Once he gets used to it and he starts tolerating it, you, the places you really want to focus are on this big canine tooth here and this big carnasal tooth in the back. As you see, his tongue does a lot of the action on the inside for us, so we don't have to worry too much about that. So just focus on the outsides of the teeth. If all you can get done are these two big teeth, that's great. If it lets you do the rest of them, that's even better. And then last but not least, you want to just really focus on the, um, on the gum line. So just like you would your own teeth, you want to make a little circular motion at the gum line, and that's the best way to get that... Um, to help prevent disease beneath the gum line. So there you go. Pete, you're doing so well today. Oh, good boy. And then I go 